Among the cancellations, Patty in the Park this weekend, Lafayette's own St. Patrick's Day celebration. Chris Welty joins us from downtown Lafayette with details on how this is impacting business owners. Chris. Those we talk to say they understand the impact canceling or postponing an event has on a community, but they say it's better to be cautious. I hope we're, we're all being overly cautious. At the end of the day, I hope that, you know, we lose out on a few dollars, but we save more lives than we could ever calculate. Legends owner Jared Doeys says his main concern is the safety of his staff and customers. During a Saturday night event like Patty in the Park, Legends is packed with people looking to have a good time. At the end of the day, you know, you can't take anything with you, so you want to know you did the right thing. It just didn't really seem like getting you know, this many people together all for an event all at the same time. I mean, even though it's open air, I mean, and you can see there's plenty of room for people, uh, you know, of course there's a huge financial aspect to it, but it just wasn't worth uh, risk anyone's safety. Patty in the Park organizer Rob Kirkpatrick recognizes the financial impact their event and downtown will feel. Park International is where Patty in the Park actually starts, but I mean it, it has wide ranging impacts for all of downtown. Other businesses really benefit from the crowd that comes downtown. Back at Legends, Doey says he's thankful his wife takes care of the books and is prepared for emergencies. While Legends is prepared for a financial sting, they want to keep everyone safe. I do worry there's other businesses down here that if the next few events are canceled, may or may not be able to recover. Organizers for Patty in the Park hope the event will go on as scheduled next year, but to see a full list of postponed and canceled events, head over to our website, KTC.com. In Lafayette, Chris Welty, KTC TV3.